Hello and welcome back to an Empower Servers tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll be shown how to manually upload a mod pack, just in case you did not want to use our mod pack installer or your mod pack is not included in the mod pack installer. The mod pack I'll be using as an example today is Sky Factory 4. Today, I'm going to be using the Twitch launcher to download the mod pack. However, you can use whatever launcher you like. So I'm going to open the Twitch launcher, head to the mods tab, click on Minecraft, and then press browse mod packs. Now I'm going to search for the mod pack I want, which was Sky Factory 4. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to press install. Pressing install will install the mod pack to my computer. We also need to press download server pack so we can install the mod pack to our server. So I'm going to click that and it should open a link in your browser and then you just need to press save. Once the mod pack has finished downloading, I'm going to open the zip file and extract the contents into a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to create a new folder. You can call this anything. I'm just going to call it mod and I'm going to highlight all the files and drag and drop them into the folder and wait for the extraction. Once it's finished, we can close this out and now open the folder. From here, we need to run install.bat. Now, not all mod packs will come with an install script. If you do not see this inside of your mod pack, you can skip this step. So I'm going to open install.bat and we can see a command prompt will open. Now we just need to wait for this to finish. And as soon as this is finished, it will close out. Once a command prompt closes, you're ready to upload the files to your server. Now, to make this process easier, we're gonna delete a few files that we will not need. We can delete the installer, we can delete the log, we can delete the bat files the in and the sh files. And this is pretty much everything that we're going to need. Now, I'm going to head to empowerservers.com click on control panel, click manage server, and we're going to need to find our SFTP details. So we need to go to system, SFTP details, and here they are. Now we need to log into the SFTP with any FTP client of your choice. I'm going to be using WinSCP. So we're gonna copy the connection address. I'm gonna paste it into the hostname box. We're gonna copy the username, and paste that into the username box. And the password is the same password you use to log into control.empowerservers.com. Once you've entered the password, you can press login and we're into the SFTP. Now we're gonna go back to the folder that we put the mod pack in earlier and we're gonna highlight all the files and drag and drop them into the SFTP and wait for the upload. Once everything is uploaded, we now need to tell the server which jar file to start the server with. So. We need to go to management, file management, and then find the forge.jar file. For me, it's this one. Now we need to copy the .jar file name. So we're gonna highlight it and then press Ctrl and C on our keyboard. And then we're gonna head to configuration, startup parameters, and in the server jar file box, we're going to paste in what we just copied and then press update startup parameters. Now we can start up our server. We need to go to system, console, and then just press start. A EULA box will pop up, make sure you press I accept, and then OK. Once the server's started up, we can open our modded version of Minecraft and connect to the server. And our modded version of Minecraft has opened up, we're going to go to multiplayer, and I've already added the server earlier, we're going to connect to it, and as you can see, we successfully uploaded a mod pack to our server. Thank you very much for watching, if you require any more support, the fastest way to reach us will be via live chat, located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times. Thank you for choosing Empower Servers.